Hello everyone, welcome to today's session. In today's session, I am going to talk about how to build an image classification model. Now, if you have a data set and you want to build an image classification model, we will be creating a CNN, right? So CNN, uh, we have to build from the scratch. We have to add layer by layers. We have to train your layers. So there are a lot of works involved in building a CNN. So in, if you are a beginner and uh, you are very new to deep learning, it is always better to use a, a pre-trained model, which is already trained on a very large data set. Because you need not create the model, you need not train the model, you can directly use a model for your problem statement. If you want to know more about uh, transfer learning or uh, pre-trained models, I have already uh, uploaded a video on that. I will give the link of that video in the description box. Now, in today's session, we are going to take a brain MRI image and we are going to build an image classification model. Now, this is a data set I'm going to use for today. It is available in Kaggle. I will give the link of this data set in the description box. Now, at how to... Uh, uh, how to uh, import this model in the uh, Kaggle. Uh, sorry, how to import this model uh, in the Google Colab. Now you can open your Colab. Now I have a piece of a code here. When you execute this piece of code, it will ask you to enter the uh, API key. Okay, this API key, from where I have to get this API key is, you have to create a login in Kaggle. So this is my account. This is my account page. Okay, in my account page, click on account. Here you can see create API, new API token. Just click on this one. You can see the API token will be downloaded. Now here it is asking you to select the API key. So now there will be a connection between the collab and the uh, Kaggle. So here you can select the uh, API key. So once this is uh, uh, selected, you can see there is a connection established between the collab and the Kaggle. Now you have to give the API token to download the uh, data set. Now this is your data set. Now here, this is your data set. Now when you click on here, you will get copy API command. Just copy this API command and uh, Kaggle data set download. So this is the uh, API command to download the data set. Okay, so just execute this one. Your data set will be downloaded. So here, when you refresh, you can see the data set. The data set will be in zip format. So now we have to extract the zip folder. So here I give the uh, path of my zip folder and call extract function. Okay, so when you execute this one, you can see the uh, data set is uh, extracted. So here you have, you see there are two classes, S and no class. Now coming back to the uh, data set. Now, this is your data set. Now it consists of two folders. One, it consists of yes and no. S indicates the images with a brain tumor and no indicates a normal MRI image of a brain. So you have only two class, S and no class. And if you see in no class, you have around some 99 images are there in the no class. And in the S class, we have around uh, 192 images are there in the S class. So totally there are 253 images available in um, our folder on the data set. Okay. Now we are going to build a image classification model. So after uh, extracting the uh, data set, so here we have our data set. Now we have to uh, do some processing, all right? So we need to build, we need to divide this into a uh, training and uh, uh, testing folder. And then the folder names are nothing but the class names. In other words, it's called as label. Okay. So here, if you see, I'm trying to, um, I'm trying to read uh, these data. So I have two folders, S and no folders. Now I'm going to put all these images into a folder called as X folder. Okay x folder and y folder will contain the uh, labels so x folder will contain all the images from s and no folders and y will contain the label for s and no folders okay so now i write a for loop now what is this tqdms is just to show the um, uh, it will just uh, show the uh, progress bar okay it's a library uh, in python 
uh, which will uh, show you the progress bar that's all so when uh, the images are getting copied to x the images from no folder and s folder are getting copied to x folder and label are appended to y folder you can see a progress bar now this uh, piece of code what it does is it opens this uh, uh, directory s and no it will copy all the images from s and no into one uh, uh, array called as x okay and y will contain the label whether it is s or whether it is no it will contain the label now execute this piece of code um, i have output yeah, i did not declare uh, i did not import os so let me import i have included all the uh, packages here so I execute this and now I execute here you can see the is copied here you can see the progress bar and here you can see the label these are the labels you can see s and no are the labels so once this is done now I have Okay, now I have uh, an array called as X, which contains all the images, and I have an array called as Y, which contain all the labels. Okay, now let me plot the data set. So this is a data set. Okay, you can see some data set with the, uh, I'm just plotting only uh, some four images here. Okay, so this is, you can see some tumors and all these images. Now I want to divide my folder X and Y into training and testing. Okay, and the ratio I'm going to use is 77% will be my training and 33% will be my testing. Whatever ratio you need, you can select. Okay, so when you execute this, you can see it's divided into training and testing. Okay, now the label which we have i already showed you the label was s and no y and s right so it is a, a string i have to convert that into um numbers uh, yes well, zero and one so i'm going to transform so i'm going to use a label encoder to convert into a number okay so just i'm going to take my y train and y test and i'm going to transform into numbers similarly what i have in folder x uh, in folder X, I have an image. So I have to convert that image into an array format. So I'm using NP array. I use NP array for Y train, uh, X train, Y test and X trust. Okay, so I convert that into an array. And here you can see uh, the label are converted into uh, categorical and the number of classes are two. Okay, so here you can see this one. Now, this is the steps are called as uh, pre-processing steps. So, one pre-processing step is done. Finally, we got our uh, ready X train and X rest, Y train and Y rest are ready after transformation. Now, you can see the uh, size of X train, Y train and Y test. So, once this is done, now what we have to do, we have to build a model from the scratch if you are using CNN. So now we are going to use a pre-trained model. So we need not build anything from the scratch. We are just going to download the pre-trained model. The model that we are going to use for today is VGG16. So here you can see it is available in Keras package. So you can see the model is imported here. Okay, and this is the uh, size of the data set, uh, the shape of the uh, image, uh, 224 cross 224. Now we are going to uh, load the pre-trained model. Okay, so you have to specify what weights you need. The model is actually the pre-trained model VGG16 is built on ImageNet data set. So we are going to download those weights. Okay, so the weight is equal to ImageNet. So we have different uh, data sets. Uh, okay, uh, state of art data, uh, state of, uh, de sorry, uh, state of art data sets are available. Uh, one of the data set is the ImageNet. So we are going to download the weights of the ImageNet data set. Okay, and when we are using this transfer learning model, uh, maybe this transfer mo uh, learning model is built on ImageNet data set, right? ImageNet data set has around 20,000 categories, means 20,000 classes. So this model may be built, uh, this model may, is built on ImageNet data set. So the number of classes are 20,000. But here in our data set, we have only two classes. 
so the top layer has to be replaced because we cannot use the output there you have in the output layer you need 20,000 neurons but here we need only two neurons because we have only two classes right so we have to uh, uh, we have to replace the top layers of the model of VGG 16 other layers we are going to use as it is but the top layers we are going to replace so here we are going to give uh, top underscore include underscore top is false so it means we don't want the top layers we are going to add ourselves and this is the uh, image shape okay so this is how your vgg16 model is um, downloaded okay so when i execute now you see uh, i'm printing all the layers and making all the layers trainable is equal to false it means uh, just I'm going to copy the same weights of the pre-trained model. I'm not going to train the model from the scratch. The model is already trained and it is available ready-made. I'm just use, going to use the same model, okay, for my data set. And I'm not going to train those layers because it's already trained. Already you have the weights, okay. So I'm going to make trainable is equal to false. So it means those layers will not be trained. It will be freezed. So it saves my time. Now, which layers will be trained? Only the layers which I add new, that is the top layers only will be trained. The other layers will remain as it is. So, I'm just going to copy the model which is already available uh, called as VGG16. I have just downloaded that model and the top layers, I'm going to remove the top layers because I have a different, uh, the number of classes are different for my data set. So, I'm going to remove the top layers. After I remove the top layers, I'm going to freeze uh, the layer which is already uh, downloaded from VGG16. So this uh, command will freeze those first few layers. Okay, and then I'm going to print what are the layers I'm going to copy from VGG16. Okay, so now when you execute this one, the model will be downloaded. So you can see the model is downloaded and these are the layers we are going to copy from the pre-trained model. And you can see there is a flaw, false. It means these layers are not going to be uh, retrained. So it's going to be used as it is. It's not going to be retrained. Now I'm going to add a few more layers to that model. Okay. So for that, I'm, a, I'm writing a function. So, um, so I'm going to call this model. Uh, uh, this model will be your uh, input model. Okay. So this model will be your input model and the top model we are going to build. Top layers you're going to add. Okay. So what are the layers I'm going to add in my top model is I'm going to add a global average pooling layer. And I'm going to add some dense layers and this is my last output layer. So if you see the last output layer, the number of classes will be 2. So here I've declared the number of classes is equal to uh, 2. Okay, so I will show you where I've declared. Yeah, number of classes equal to 2. Okay, so number of classes is 2 and the activation function will be softmax because it's a um, number of classes is 2. Okay, so now uh, these are the models I'm going to add it on the top of the input model so just I execute this function now I will call this function so here you can see I'm calling this function so what will be my input my input will be my uh, VGG model okay so which we have already downloaded here so this is my input VGG okay my input is VGG and what I'm going to add the number of classes is 2 so this will give me my um, this will give me my uh, base model so which I call it as FC underscore head so now what will be your, uh, um, now you have to uh, just, uh, so now in this piece of code, you see you're calling the function LW, your bottom model will be your VGG and the number of classes will be two. So to the VGG model, you can see uh, these layers will be added. Okay, so we take the base model and add all these uh, top layers. Now, if you see the summary, you can see the summary here. So you can see the layers that we have added is appended to the base model. See, these are the layers which we are added. Dense layer, uh, global max pooling layer. Then we have a dense layer, another dense layer. And finally, the output layer, number of classes are two. Okay, so these are the layers which we are added. So you can see the full model summary here. Once this is done, now you have to uh, compile your model. Okay, model is not defined. Okay, I have to execute... So, I'm declaring the model here. Now, I execute this one. The model is compiled. And when you click model.fit, 
you can see the training process will start and you can see the accuracy as 91.72. So now here I did not build anything from the scratch. I just used the pre-trained model. I just downloaded the pre-trained model. I removed the top layers and added few top layers and changed the number of classes to two. That's it. And then I just trained the model. And here you can see the accuracies are plotted. So which with very less effort, I will be able to build an image classification model by using a transfer learning technique. Okay. So only uh, the thing I have to remember when I'm using transfer learning model is I have to uh, check the input shape. The input shape should match. Okay. So what is my input and what is the input required by BGG 16? Okay, I have to make sure the input shape matches. If it doesn't matches, I have to do a pre-processing technique on my input to make sure the shapes are changed to what shape is expected by VGG16. Okay, so this is a simple technique to build an image classification model. Hope you enjoyed the session and we will meet um, in another session with a similar kind of problem. Thank you very much.